아니라 대한민국의 대표라는 생각으로 여러분 모두에게 우리나라의 자랑스러운 문화유산인 가가수에 대하여 힘껏 이야기하고자 합니다. 여러분도 귀 기울여 주세요. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sumin k i I am glad to be here in this place to introduce Korean history. It will be a small part of Korea, but as a student, it is a great honor and chance to inform Korea and its history. So, let me begin. If I say cultural heritage, you may think about cultural symbols such as the pyramids in Egypt. However, the cultural legacy I'm going to talk about is an intangible cultural legacy. February 15, 1966, this was declared as the eighth most important intangible cultural legacy. And on September 30th, in 2009, it was registered as the world's intangible cultural legacy by UNESCO. What is UNESCO? UNESCO is the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. It currently has 188 member states. And the main objective is to contribute to peace and security of the world. So, I hope that some of you will already know what it is. It's k a n g a n g s u l e You may think that k a n g a n g s u l e is just a dance w h i c h means a round circle. But actually, there are many details inside, like a secret. So, let me introduce k a n g a n g s u l e First, k a n g a n g s u l e is a song, a dance, and music. Those three make a beautiful harmony. When playing the conga s u l e they use traditional instruments such as the tango and drums to add to the folk music. The woman with the loudest voice is first and then the others sing along. Secondly, I will tell you the specific methods. They make a circle and dance around, and then gather in the center, then outside. And by doing that, they also change the speed and song they chant and dance. Also, they match the speed and beat all together. It is actually very hard for all women to match the speed and beat at once. So that's one of the reasons why I think that k a l a k s u l e is very important to us in Korean history. And because of that, I feel a lot of pride about Korea. So, you would ask, What does k a n g a k s u l e mean? It was originated by the Koreans. k a n g a k means surroundings. s u l e is actually a dialect of Korean which means the guard. As a result, it means guard the surroundings. Then you can know. To guard the surroundings, the women are made a round circle. But we still don't know how k a n g a k s u l e was made. In 1592 to 1598, There was a war against Korea and Japan. At that time, Korea's renowned general Lee Sun Shin thought if the woman played k a n g a s u l e the Japanese army would think that we had a lot of people by an optical illusion and run away. And as I told before, this is another reason why I think that k a n g a s u l e is very important to us. Korea's ancestors were very wise and sensible. Third, when we look at the lyrics of k a n g a s u l e there are a lot of parts talking about the moon. The reason is because most women play k a n g a s u l e when the full moon comes. So in Korea, if you go to Jeollanam-do, which is located on the southern part of Korea, when the full moon comes, you can still see some festivals with women playing k a n g a s u l e The representative holidays which we play k a n g a s u l e It's the 15th day of the new year and Chuseok, which is Korea's Thanksgiving. Chuseok is on September 12th this year, but it changes every year, which depends on the lunar calendar. So, I hope that you should go visit j e o l a n a n d o and watch a f i l m from a s u l e for real. But, you may still think that k a n g a s u l e is just so boring. If you haven't played before, Don't even mention about it. <laughs> Last year, at a school festival, the female classmates did an excellent job by playing k a n g a s u l e 
and plays in a small drum called fugo, which is one of Korea's traditional instruments. We had a hard time matching the speed, beat, and the dancing, but the result was fantastic. At first, I thought that Hyungwon's leg was just so boring, but after the great experience, I had a different thought about it. When I was playing Hyungwon's leg, I just couldn't stop my laughter because I was just so happy which I did not explain why. At this, Kangas Lin was the first step which had took me to be right here in this place to introduce Korean history and to tell everyone about Kangas Lin. And lastly, there are many intangible cultural legacies which are in danger, such as China's with global typewriting. And I wish that intangible cultural legacies all around the world will be preserved safely. Also, even though we live and communicate all together as a global legation family, we have to preserve our own history and soul. So, I hope that Kangang Surai will remain forever in Korean history. Thank you.